welcome back to Virtual Tartan Week. Thank you guys so much. I see so many amazing uh, friends and familiar faces on there that are joining us for the entire day. Um, I'm so excited to get Ruth Connell on here for you. So let me just see if she's joined yet. Um, Ruth Connell. Let's see if Ruth Connell has joined yet. I'm so excited about Ruth. Um, so if you guys, for you guys that don't know, she plays the witch on Supernatural and she is absolutely brilliant. Um, so fun. Um, so let me just, sorry, I'm just going to try to get Ruth on here. Where are you, Ruth? Um, hi guys. All right. Oh, Ruth's on. Let me get you on here, Ruth. There you are. I'm just connecting. Oh my goodness. Everyone loves Ruth. Ruth! Yeah. Ruth! Did we make it? Did we do it? We made it. We connected. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I've, I've tried to get, I've got a picture here of Nessie in the background. Oh, oh my gosh. Room. I was hoping <gasps> Nessie. That's so cute. Did you draw that? Uh, no, I got it. Um, I got it at a, a convention. Where was I? Somewhere in America. And it's an original um, drawing by the artist. Uh, that, yeah, that I spied of Nessie, so that I had to get it, and I've got my um, mug full of tea with my Kelpies, um, given Falkirk a shout out. Yeah, I've got my tartan skirt on. I, I like I've done my best for tartan. Day <laughs> You're way ahead of me. Um, I didn't have any tartan with me, unfortunately. So I, I have some whiskey, and that's 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 the best I can do. Oh, that. I wish I thought of whiskey. I wish I thought that. I've just got tea. Never mind. But I did wash my hair, so it's a big day here. It's a big day in the house. I know. I shaved my legs gone. yesterday. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Being up in the world. Goodness. So, Ruth, how are you? How are you doing in these crazy times right now? Uh, I think I'm, I'm doing I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to say I'm doing pretty well. Um, I, I do wake up sometimes at five o'clock in the morning. With anxiety and and whatnot but i am really counting my blessings i think um you feel a bit guilty saying that you're okay sometimes when it's so hard um for some people and i'm terribly sad about some of the things that happened to friends of mine or their parents you know who've been really affected um their health has been affected and and um you know scary times but I think it's important that to acknowledge what we are grateful for and what is mm -hmm. going well. Um, so it's that balance. I think I think a lot of people are having that balance. There's, you know, it's nice to be at home. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be at home uh, and happy to speak to so many people and catch up with so many people and happy to do things like this. Worried about the future, but also, you know, realizing I'm pretty lucky. Um, you're pretty lucky in the great scheme of things. So it's a it's a bit of a weird, it's a bit of a weird balance. How how, how are you finding it? Yeah, it's weird because I was thinking about that. It's it's such a blessing and a curse at the time same time. I think when people choose to go self isolate and take a vacation and take a week off and say, hey, I'm gonna unplug and do this. It's a choice and it's a little bit different versus something when it's forced upon you. It it, it kind of sends you into jolt and you're like, wait, I had all these plans, but. I have oh, to yeah. yeah, so it's a little, um, but I think now it's week three, maybe week four for some people. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, you know, I, I'm so thankful for today and getting to connect with you and talk about Scotland and Tartan. Yeah, and, and, and what we should have been doing this week, talking about plans getting cancelled, right? We were supposed to be doing um, Macbeth. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to say that, I'm not in a theatre, so okay, I can say it. Right? Yes, exactly. uh, we're supposed to be doing Macbeth um, for Scott Week, uh, which is one of the reasons like, we're here today, like having a chat about it, because it will happen, hopefully. Mm -hmm. It will. It will happen further down down the line. And I, I do have a little bit of a story, a, a bit of a, a Harry Hamlin story to tell you. Oh uh, it's kind of weird. Like, I believe in the Matrix, like life is a Matrix. I think you're the same. And uh, so on set last year, I kid you not, I ad-libbed Harry Hamlin's name uh, in a scene. I uh, We were doing a scene about a Gorgon and Dean Genson was saying something about Clash of the Titans and I went, oh, Harry Hamlin. Uh, it didn't it didn't make the final cut, but it is, it is somewhere in the rushes. And, uh, and then the next thing is you invite me to do um, 
the reading of Macbeth, and I'm like, how did it happen? <laughs> That's a small world. And it's <laughs> Julie Ormond, who, um, you know, who doesn't love Julie Ormond. So thank you for asking me. Oh my gosh, we are so honored to have you. I remember, I, I think the first time I met you was at the, it was a St. Andrew's garden party at the British consulate. And I just thought you were so wonderful. You're so warm and just so humble and down to earth and so funny. So it was just such, it was great. I love just like working with amazing people like you. I'm like, okay, great. Let's go and create something. Let's do something positive in this world. So I'm so delighted that you are a part of Scott Week. I so happens to be part of it. And it was really cool. I met the director. He came here. We did some work on it. And he's awesome. He, he helped build the globe. And I'm such, that's one of my favorite places in the world to go to is Shakespeare's Globe. You pay five pounds. Not right now, obviously. But um, like I, I said to him, going to the Globe at times has felt like it saved my life. It just would go and be so uplifted. So he was a big part of that. So it was like, I love how like that, that's how it works. You know, you the Matrix expands and uh, you get to get to meet even more interesting people yeah yeah absolutely it's so true it's like there's um moments of synchronicity as you say like the matrix and things are coming together it's amazing and bigger picture with all this i i think some of the effects are going to be devastating um, for mm -hmm. a lot of people i'm worried about the southern hemisphere it's probably not my job but i am as they get into the colder months and they maybe have less resources but there are some positives in that I think we're seeing the environmental impact already and that we can change things. There is a balance we can maybe find after all. this is passed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd encourage everyone to follow Bill Gates and then um, see his recent TED talk. And there is hope for how we can listen to scientists more. They were right about this pandemic. They were right. And uh, we need to listen to them. And they're right about climate change. And that maybe, you know, this will bring people together. It will be devastating, but the, ultimately it might bring people together, uh, governments together, and do things differently moving forwards. Mm -hmm. So I hope. Absolutely. So what are some things that you're kind of uh, doing in isolation or um, things that you're doing to... Um, well, I'm, wa out? I'm watching things like Bill Gates' TED Talk. It's nice mm -hmm. to have time to do stuff like that and to, get, to keep informed. It's a, again, it's a balance. I'm not watching too much news. I, I follow um, I follow people I'm interested in on Twitter and I get a lot of my news that way and I try and see both sides of the coin, you know, I try and follow different people, uh, different organisations. So I I go in, I get my news and I come out again. Uh, that's one of the things that Misha, um, who's in our show, he did a, 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 one of these with a, um, a psychologist who said, you know, find some routine in your day. Like I, I give myself an appointment every morning on FaceTime or Skype or to go shop to the supermarket or to do something, you know, I give myself an appointment um, and then to not do too much of the news, but enough to know what's going on. And um, I, I would have thought I had really high hopes. I have too many clothes. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't have children, right? I have shoes and clothes. <laughs> And uh, I kind of hope by now I might have cleaned my closet out. I just never seem to get around to it. But I, I, like, I would, maybe I would have thrown this away, but I do have my current skirt still. Uh, <laughs> there are things that you know, I, I need to do more stuff in the house um, than I am. But I, you know, I do it trying to take care of business, um, doing things like, you know, um, I did a little bit of an online convention last week, to, to, which was really fun. Um, hoping to do some more things with creation um, online. I don't think I'm supposed to say too much about that. Um, I'm doing video video messaging on my own website, trying to be productive and mm -hmm. um, trying to keep the, the wheels turning a little bit. Um, what about yourself? What are you doing? Yeah, um, same. I, you know, I, I'm I'm singing every day. I'm writing. I'm reading. I have an on two online acting classes that my acting coaches have taken on Zoom, which is amazing. Uh, but I know you're a singer too, so I wanted to check with you. So how's that going? No, I'm not a singer. I'm really not a singer. Um, are you singing your band? No, I was told I was tone deaf growing up, and um, I kind of I. I I can sing really off tune. I don't have perfect pitch whatsoever. My dad, my mum has perfect pitch and my dad has none and I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, but when I was younger, I used to sing beside people who went on to be in musicals. And so I thought I was worse than I was. 
Um, but doing the fan conventions with Supernatural, there's a band, uh, the house band Loud and Swain, and they really persuaded me um, to get up there and sing. And I sometimes sing off tune, I sometimes sing the wrong notes, but I get up there and the fans are so warm and supportive, I start to feel like I am a singer. <laughs> um, and I just, funnily enough, I got a, a, a request to sing a song in one of the video messages that, that I'm doing, and I'm like, mm, do I want that out there in the world? <laughs> <laughs> well, you fooled me. I thought you were brilliant. So. so there's lots of photographs of me looking like a singer because of conventions. That's what I say. I say, like, thank you to all the fans who take pictures. You make me look like a great singer. And it's, it's honestly, um, I am so jealous of people who are musical in that way. I'm so envious. Mm. Really envious. You're, you're a singer? Yeah, well, it's, I sing. Oh, I, I, was a, uh, con I was trained to be a concert pianist. So piano wow. is like, like, yeah. Um, but no, it's, um, I don't know. I don't think you have to be necessarily good at something to just have it in your, in your system and be like, you know, this is just makes me feel happy. Yeah. Ab absolutely. And I sing in the car. Sometimes I forget like the cars aren't soundproof and I'm really singing in the car and I see people next to me. Maybe you could give me some lessons. Maybe you could, you could give me some, some singing lessons and some piano lessons and help me out oh my gosh um, <laughs> <your time. laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna be any good but um yeah yeah we'll, we'll, we can do a little collab or something That'd be okay, really fun. okay. <laughs> so and then um so how's everything else going how are you um are you do you have a lot of friends and family that you're talking to in scotland and how how is that going yeah i think uh, i got i was on yesterday i did um i, I did a play a reading last year with Bespoke and we did every Sunday pretty much we're meeting up and doing the reading of somebody's script and and what and then I had a phone call with a friend and then another friend and I actually I, I, I have to be careful I feel like I'm getting slightly like it, there's a not to put too much pressure on ourselves to be so productive like there is a pandemic mm -hmm. um it's okay to not fill your days uh, I actually, I don't get sore heads very often, but I had a sore head, I think, from staring at the screen so much. Uh, not because I need glasses as I'm getting older or anything, but um, so to be mindful of that. And um, But every every day I, like, I'm, I'm speaking to, um, to, to people at home, especially in the morning, because, you know, the UK um, time difference mm -hmm. and messaging with my friends. And there's lots of nice groups group chats and whatnot and then um, phoning my dad at the farm every now and again they're pretty isolated there and, mm -hmm. and my dad uh, my dad's 75 in a few days oh, and wow. his cousin sometimes comes up to the farm to work with him and um, they can't do that right now his cousin's a similar age and but had a heart um a heart transplant a, a few years ago so they have to be really careful mm -hmm. Um, so even their lives are affected in a very remote, remote part of Scotland, but they're doing their bit and they're not going out, they don't normally go out for say like um, a cup of tea or, or whatnot, they're not able to do that. So my, my poor dad's wife, <laughs> she's just stuck with them all the time, they're not getting away from, getting away from it. Um, and the same with my, my, my mum and her husband are in Edinburgh doing a very good job. Um, <laughs> isolating their neighbor actually has covid um so they've been very careful um like everybody else everyone's plans have had to be changed it's their 70th birthday this month too we're all born in april and um they can't go on their cruise and whatnot but um first world problems mm -hmm. right um but nice to speak to mm -hmm. them i think my mom's a bit surprised i'm not phoning her more but i'm like i'm really busy <laughs> <laughs> it happens it happens yeah, yeah yeah and i think we're we email back and forth lots of april birthdays you're april 20th and and i'm april 21st and i was like yay april that's right yeah but you're taurus and i'm 80s yeah right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we're just the other side of the Are, would you say you're quite taurus um yes but i have a lot of aries but i'm leo rising so I've, and I've, I've like tons of fire in my chart that's right you told me yeah and my and your birds are 
yeah, Virgo rising, which I think is why I sometimes appear, um, I do feel quite shy sometimes. It's why I, if I appear proper at all, it's, it's my Virgo rising. But yeah, <laughs> it's in Leo. But no, you're very Taurus. You're very, that Taurian classic beauty, I think. That's very, like, um, Michelle Pfeiffer, I think, right? You've got that kind of Taurian oh. on, I think. Well, thank you. It was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was my neighbor's birthday. Um, at la last night, eight o'clock, we go out and we cheer um, for all the medical workers and frontline workers, store workers, everyone that's helping. Um, mm -hmm. And it's so nice in the neighborhood to hear and somebody plays a horn. And anyway, my neighbors, they're like, there's Ruth. And I, I wondered why there was people standing near their driveway that, um, during the day. And it was it was her birthday. And so people had come and stood, uh, you know, at various points in the driveway. And that was them um, out kind of celebrating and like that was, that was nice you know people had driven uh, and like kind of done a drive-by and um it's for sure it'll be a birthday that we don't forget you know we'll remember exactly our birthdays in, in 2020 i think everybody yeah. well especially the first half of the year people probably yeah absolutely absolutely well i hope you have a lot of well six feet apart people in front of your driveway on your birthday in la that'd be very cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i have to lower my expectation of cards and friends i think that's a, that's a sad thing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Amazon no giving a gift. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and um, well i don't want to take too much of your time ruth because you've been so wonderful and so generous but is there anything else that you want to say about um <laughs> I'm just leaning forward to look at some of the fan, uh, the, yeah. some of the, the people who are following. Hello, oh, hello, boys. Somebody wanted me to say hello, boys, and that's that was somebody Russian, Brazilian. Hello, boys. More hello, boys. Just in case there are any questions come up. Oh, somebody just said to me, if they get to meet me, they will give me lint, and that is always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's, there's a mini, there's a mega come in the chat group. They always bring me chocolate, and I, I don't dissuade them. I'm like, okay, you can just keep bringing me chocolate. Yeah, what else absolutely. is there? <laughs> Pally, hi, Pally. Hi, Emma. Bohemian blasphemy. That's a good name. I get mm. lots of waves and things. Hello from Mexico City. It's so cool, isn't it, to, to meet, meet so many people. Oh, Oi. Yeah. Do you know that's how you say hello in Brazilian? In Portuguese, sorry. In Brazil, you go oi. Oi? Uh -huh. And my name, in, when I was in Brazil uh, last year with Elena Huffman, she just couldn't stop laughing at me. Because I would say my name was Ruth, and then later on we would hear someone say my name, but it sounded a bit different. And she's like, what is it you're saying? And they were saying, hoochie. <laughs> Basically, that was called hoochie. Hoochie. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, they were like... So from there on, I was hoochie mama. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how everyone's, how are y'all doing down in Brazil? Hi from China. Hi. Oh. Wow. Yes, reminded of my blue light glasses. I've ordered blue light glasses because we are looking at screens so much and apparently they're good for... Mm -hmm. I have the blue light glasses too. I'm just not wearing them. Oh, do you like them? They're amazing. Yeah, they're like, you can get them on Amazon for 10 bucks, deliver to your door and they're great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ukraine, hello from the U U Ukraine, hello from Texas. I played a Ukrainian on television once. I don't know how good my accent was. <laughs> hello from the Czech Republic. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm from Germany. Crossroads, ho yeah, hopefully there's, we'll see how many of the conventions can happen mm -hmm. as the time goes by and as we're all allowed to travel more. I do think we have to be careful for a few months um, so that we don't get wave after wave after wave because we're not doing it enough in the first place. But I will do my best to get everywhere I can and to do as much online as I can. Mm -hmm. Hello from Russia again. Oh, Sweden, Kentucky. Mm. Do you know, uh, do you have plans for when you're going to do Scott Week? Yeah, so right now we have September 25th through October 2nd. Um, so we have uh, the Scottish play, well, we have scheduled as of right now, Sunday, September 27th. Um, so I think, yeah, we're, we're going to see what happens. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, and I, especially, I think you have a convention that weekend, so we're trying to figure out 
how we can um, yes. work with Dayton to get you there because we, we want you 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, hope, I hope it can work out. Yeah, what other kind of things have you got on in Scott Week? What else have you got going on? Yes, yeah, so it's September 25th. We have Scott Con, which is our, an all day um, educational business networking event. So it's going to be all day with panels of industry leading experts from sustainability to entrepreneurship to everything, biotech. Um, and then on Saturday the 26th, we have our red carpet gala. Um, so we'll have a fashion show from Jeff Garner. He's the sustainable uh, award-winning fashion designer, um, uh, Prophetic. Um, and then we'll have some live performances and red carpet and whiskey tasting from Glen and It's going to be so much fun. Whiskey tasting! Yay! I'm there. Yeah. You, got, you had me at whiskey. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's a yeah. Well, listen, thanks so much for, for having me on today. I'm glad we could do something. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Ruth. It's such a pleasure to have you. And you, uh, you so much. Me you too. take care of yourself. Okay. See you later. And I'll re if you post this, I'll repost it. I don't quite know how it works, but we'll, we'll make it happen. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Thank That's you. Well. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.